Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. guys welcome back to a brand new vegas tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you guys exactly how to create these really unique uh, text animations but before we're going to start i want to mention that i teamed up with vfx not because they have some really really awesome bundles that i want to introduce to you guys and obviously these are for final cut pro and you're wondering why are you promoting a bundle of uh, that's for final cut in a vegas pro tutorial well not everybody that is watching the channel and watching these tutorials is using vegas pro they're using uh, after Effects or Premiere Pro or Final Cut. So I'm going to show you guys some unique text animations. But before we're going to start, make sure to check out this little trailer. So that looks really, really amazing, guys. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, the link is in the description, obviously. Okay, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 16. And like I've mentioned at the beginning of the intro, uh, that bundle that I uh, promoted at the first was obviously the largest Final Cut bundle online. It has 10 premium packs in one bundle, 90 theme titles, 60 theme lower thirds, no plugins needed to use it, uh, fully customizable in Final Cut Pro. And the summer sale has 38% off of everything. So check the link in the description, obviously right after the video. So let's get started. So as you can see, we're in Vegas Pro as usual on Monday and Wednesday and Friday. So what we're going to do, first of all, is I'm going to drag in a song because we're going to make words appear on the actual uh, song. We're not going to just make a lyric video, but, but we're going to just make words appear on the beat. So I'm going to just drag in a song. All right. So we're going to put on some headphones because there's audio and this is basically the song that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and click on media generators and we're going to scroll down until we see titles and text. That's obvious. All right. So this is basically the text layer that we're going to use. So we're going to stretch it out just a little bit. So first, what we're going to do is type in everything that we're going to need. So I'm just going to uh, type in how to uh, create unique text animations. So first, uh, I'm going to also add in Vegas Pro 16. All right, apparently I keep hearing noises. I thought it was my girlfriend, but it's actually people in this building uh, using the elevator. So never mind. Let's let's move on. Okay, so first what we're going to do is uh, make it a little bit smaller. Uh, so I'm going to type in 10. I'm going to resize it just a little bit like that. Pick a different font because this one it looks a little bit boring, that standard one. I'm just going to just look for a nice font. I think this one looks very, very cool. Uh, but the 16 is not really in the same font. So I'm going to just uh, keep on looking. All right, this one looks very nice. So first what we need to do is close it out and what we're going to do then is we're going to mask stuff. So I'm going to click on the event pan crop icon. That's crucial. Then we're going to select a mask at the bottom. And then first we're going to pick this rectangle or square mask creation tool. And I'm going to pick the first word like that. So first I'm going to, we're going to also do that on the beat. So I'm going to play it back. So this is what it looks like. Without you. And when we hear that second, 
I'm going to just make the second word appear. So what we're going to do is also uh, check sync cursor at the bottom. Right here we have the second one. That. So I'm going to just uh, make this guy stretch to the right. So then we're going to move on to the second one. We have do, do, do. So I'm going to also do that. How to create. So this is what it looks like. Without you. Without you. Without you. Without you. But what we need to do is when we actually um, create this transition, I mean like this animation, uh, it's just going to slowly fade and not like appear like that so what we need to do in front of every keyframe because if I'm, I'm just gonna delete this one so this is basically what it looks like it's just going to go, go like that Without you. we want to actually make it appear so in front of every keyframe we need to create one uh, first on the previous position so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that works but we're gonna first finish off all the text all right then what we're gonna do is move on mask all around the other one like that all right then we're gonna just select uh, the word text right here as well All right, but in order to not make it appear like that, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a keyframe right before each new one like that. So what we're gonna do is right here, it says how to, then we're gonna click on that keyframe, press, we're gonna go back on our, key, on our keyboard with the arrow keys, one frame, and then we're gonna click on this one, create keyframe. Then we're gonna move on to the second keyframe, go one arrow back, and then we're gonna also hit create keyframe. Then we're gonna also do that for the next one, click on it, then go one arrow key back, create keyframe, and we're gonna repeat that for all the other ones. So this is basically what it looks like. I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. Alright guys, so that's basically how amazing it is. So this is how you create this unique text animation and obviously if you want to look into more text animations, uh, check out the Vegas Pro playlist that's in the descriptions guys. That was freaking amazing. I want to thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for the continued support. I'll see you guys in my next video which should be coming out hopefully tomorrow because I'm just so busy with other clients. I have you know generated some new clients, I've got approached by other YouTubers like you want to add it for me and I'm saying that, okay. I want to but I have main channel as well and I want to keep uploading this guys if it's not gonna be tomorrow I'll see you guys on Wednesday because you know Wednesday is Vegas Pro Day <laughs>
So what we're going to do then is we're going to chop things up first. So what we're going to do is we're going to time where we want the effect to happen. Then we're going to just go ahead and cut and we're going to drag this one. And we're going to put this guy up front for a second. Then what we're going to do is, as you can see, I just placed the camera right there and then just walked out of the frame because I just wanted to go. I just went inside because I wanted to be out of the frame. But then what you want to do once you are out of the frame, just cut that part, time it where you come out again. If this part is too short, what you can also do is just hold left control and drag this and make it real, real slow. That's going to extend your footage and you're not going to notice it that it's going to be slow motion unless there's like a lot of trees, you know, in the wind, then you will notice it. But if it's just like a really calm environment, nobody will be able to tell. All right, moving on. So as you can see, this is just a shot of me standing and I got this idea when I was shooting a new Instagram picture. Uh, it's this one. Make sure to go ahead and like it. Place a comment under my Instagram picture that I posted today because I'm liking every single comment. So what you want to do then is go ahead and create a crossfade because if you're not going to create a crossfade, it's going to look like this. It's going to like happen all of a sudden, as you can see, like boom. That's something you can do. You can also overlay some smoke if you think that looks cool. But if you want to have it like really smooth and like a fade, stand with your mouse cursor on the line until it says fade in offset and drag it to the right. The longer that this X is going to be, the longer your fade is going to be. So if this is really a really small cross, it's going to be really fast like that. But if you drag it real, real slow, it's going to take a lot longer. So that's basically how to make yourself disappear. And if you want to make yourself appear again, just repeat that process. Take this bit, then you want to copy it, create another crossfade like that. So it's going to go from this to this. And there you are again. As you can see, that looks really, really nice. And you can do that as well with multiple things. Like you can do this with objects or anything. Just keep in mind two things. Have a shot, for example. I would do, if I want to create this, I would just have a shot that's like at least a minute long of just nothing in the screen and yourself out of the frame. And then you would just want to go ahead and do your thing. Make sure you're in the screen. So this is basically what it looks like. It's just, just a nice fade out. And then if you go ahead and come back into the screen, that's basically how to do it. You can also make yourself, you know, disappear from different locations. So let's say that at the beginning, you're standing right here at the very bottom of the down on the balcony. And then you can create like a fade in that you're just fading in right here in front of the camera on the balcony. That's something that you can also, for example, like a teleport effect, you know, that's also really cool. So that's it, guys. <laughs>to take the tripod of my camera let's see where it is i think it is still in the living room right so here is my tripod as you can see and what you need to do first of all is just undo all the legs and then what you want to do is place it onto something high it can be anything it can be a stand stack some boxes and you just want to you know take all the legs out and then just place it onto the boxes very simple i have all the legs out as you can see so then the only thing what you need to do let's see if i can do this with one hand you just need to go ahead and place this guy on these boxes position it obviously that is nice and stable like that so that's basically the setup that i have but obviously that top part can also screw out even more so then you want to basically have this kind of angle where you just want to place the camera onto it and then you can have yourself fully into the screen so that you're really easy and trackable so once you filmed everything it is just part one done you need also part two which is going to uh, filming the place where you're going to place your mini Itself. It can be, for example, right here. Uh, if, I, if you place the camera right there, you can position your guy right there. I just use the couch, but you want to make sure that you will actually, you know, keep in mind the depth of field. Because if you're standing like completely straight, it's not going to look natural. Because if you're standing completely straight and you're filming yourself 
on eye level, you need to also make sure that you will film your actual new place on eye level like that. If you're gonna have like a tilted kind of angle, not like this, but like this, you wanna also tilt your camera for example, like that or like that, so it will actually, so it look, it will, it will actually look like way more natural than just having like standing on here, but it's not looking really that realistic. And another thing that's optional, guys, is for example, let's say that this one is a little bit lighter than that one. You can always just turn on the light, or you can just use one of these studio lights, and you can just put that one on there. Just make sure that your studio lights or any light source is not included in the shot. You don't want to have your your lamp right there because otherwise you will. See See that in the footage so just make sure to just place your lamp for example like that aiming onto the green screen so that it is nice and lit and evenly lighted and that's basically a, just an optional thing I just have you know the natural light of the Sun out so that's basically something I didn't have to do but it's just a really interesting fact that you can actually do a lot and compensate a lot if you have external lighting and everything is lit obviously even. Right, so now that we've shot both clips on the green screen and your place where you're gonna transform to, let's go into Vegas and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it's done. All right, so now that we filmed everything and we are done shooting, we just imported all the footage onto our computer. Let's go ahead and drag our footage onto our timeline. Okay, so this is basically me just pressing record and just getting ready. So right here, as you can see, I'm standing and I'm even jumping onto the actual screen, which is pretty funny. Okay, so this is basically the part that we're gonna use. I'm gonna shrink it down for a second. So then what we need to do, first of all, is go to the video effects tab and we're gonna add in a little bit more brightness and contrast because you want to basically make sure that the green screen where you're standing on and this one is a similar color. Now, obviously the sun was shining here and there. So that's why, you know, both green screens on the wall and on the ground got different lightings and, you know, everything like that. So we got to compensate that by going to the actual video effects tab. And we're going to scroll down until we see brightness and contrast, which is this one. Then we're going to drag the default onto the clip and we're going to just drag this contrast bar just a little bit to the right. So you guys will see what happens to the footage. So this is basically what we will have to see. So that's going to basically make it a lot easier to remove the background. So now that we've done that, what we need to do is click on the event pan crop icon. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit mask at the bottom and we're going to mask out ourselves. So we're going to just click right here click right there, right there, and then also at the bottom, just close it out like that. So as you can see, this is just us standing onto a green background. Very simple, very straightforward. Then what we need to do is basically close this out and we need to just remove the green background. So we're gonna go to the video effects tab once more. Then we're gonna scroll down until we see the chroma key. Then pick the default one, drag it onto the clip. And then what we need to do is uncheck it for just a minute. Then we're going to click on this blue bar. That's obviously because we want to pick the green screen. Then we're going to pick this pencil icon so we can actually pick a nice green part. I'm going to pick, for example, right there. So then what we need to do is just recheck it. And as you can see, this is just us standing. But what we need to do is optimize this because we have still a little bit of blue behind us. Go to media generators, solid color at the very bottom. I'm going to just pick red, for example. So now we can see things we need to adjust. So we're going to go back to the event pan crop. We need to click on chroma key and we need to mess with both the low threshold and the high threshold, because if I bring up the low threshold, that's going to remove the other one. If I bring down the high threshold, as you can see, it's, make, it's going to make us visible again. And that's basically how you just want to, you know, switch with these, you know, these markers and just actually fine tune it until everything is gone like that. So I'm going to do that. You can also just go ahead and mess with this little marker for example like that to make it a little bit easier like this okay so then we still see this black one and this black one so we can remove that by just i don't know like masking out just a little bit and also on the other side like that so this is us standing and if i play it back that's us transparent so now we need to remove the red so we can now drag on the footage of our new location so i decided yo let's just do this on the couch so i'm just going to drag in that footage as well which is right here and then you want to just drag actually the footage underneath your clip of your green screen and then you just need to resize yourself a little bit so i'm going to go to the track motion icon of the green screen clip make this box a little bit smaller just drag it around and then what you can also do is you can place yourself on the cap uh, on this tv remote anywhere where you want on the screen so i'm just going to 
place place myself right here. That's how I did it as well in the actual intro. If I play it back, this is ba well. I'm just gonna crop out the first part because that's me positioning the camera. So this is basically what it looks like, guys. You're just right now really tiny anywhere, and let's say that you want to run around and everything. You need to have a really big room, and you have to have like a huge green wall and a green floor because anytime if you want to run, you still need to be in a green background in order to remove the background, obviously. So if I play it back, this is basically what it looks like, guys. It is really, really awesome. This is how you make yourself smaller. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below. If you like this video, subscribe if you're new. I had so much fun making this video. And if you guys are also creating this effect, make sure to just tweet a link, you know, of a video that you created at Alex Halford on Twitter or on Instagram. Just tag me in your Instagram story or a video and I'll be more than happy to check it out and drop a like. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.